All right, here we have uh, the Giraga. I'm gonna keep on saying it like that because I don't, I don't fully know how to pronounce it. But um, yeah, he's fully built, and uh, let's go ahead and check him out. The little movements and all that good stuff. So here's the head. It looks really great. Uh, it can actually, it actually, uh, actually has a wide range of movements. So it can go up and go all the way down, and it can pretty much move all the way around, which I, I really like. Um, I like the up, the the straight up look because I'm gonna have him like in a little dashing pose. He's got his little uh, spear with him as well, so I think that's gonna be pretty cool looking. The sticker is uh, right inside there, the green sticker, and uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, what more can you uh, really say about it? Um, let's look at the chest. Uh, the chest, you're not gonna get the green. Whoops, this piece came off. You're not gonna get the the clear green uh, piece that you usually do with all the other uh, with all the other um, freaking enemy mobile suits. Uh, try to put this back on. All right, you're actually gonna get a sticker that's gonna go in there, and in my opinion, it doesn't really look all that good. To me, if you want, you can go ahead and paint it. But um, I just really wish they would have gave us a little clear part um, instead of the sticker, or at least give us a clear part to put over the sticker, which would make it look that much better. Um, you're gonna get like three pieces, uh, actually two, uh, this is like yellow, these little yellow pieces, uh, that's all one thing that's gonna go on there, and this black thing's gonna go over it as well, so, actually, yeah, three pieces, uh, black thing on the top, black thing on the bottom, so, yeah, um, these yellows right here, one, uh, well, this is one sticker right here, these two, that's just one, this up here, at the, the little yellow sticker, that's a, uh, one sticker, that's one, and these two together are one. So you get four total stickers all around there, but it's going to make this yellow stick out from this, uh, which I, I don't really have a problem with, but I don't know. Maybe they should just not include the stickers. I, I don't know. I haven't seen them in the anime yet, so I'm not too sure. Um, even on the, I think on the box art, it, this, the, the, the yellow looks Pretty, pretty much the same, so I really don't see a need for that. Um, other than that, the body looks really nice. Um, move forward that much. That much. Move back that much. Side to side. And it's only on a ball joint. And these pieces are going to keep falling off. Alright, and uh, for the shoulders, the shoulders move right there. All the way up and down so you can get a wide range of move with that uh, I like the the pink I think the pink looks pretty nice um, below it you can revolve it uh, it's gonna have two joints first one coming up right there and then the second one coming up right here so you're gonna get a little more than a, a 90 degree angle with the arm but um, the thing I don't like that it's, it doesn't really bother me but uh, is this like if if you move back too far? Let me try to put it back on. Then it'll sometimes it will just pop off. But if you try to hyperextend it, it's not gonna be able to fit all the way. So you kind of have to have like a slight bend in the uh, elbow, which I really don't care for. But I mean, I'm, it's nothing that I'm really gonna complain too much about. Uh, so for the hands, the hands can move. You know, typical uh. Mobile suit, oh, typical enemy mobile suit hands. All right, that back in, and you're gonna get another set, uh, one for each uh, hand, uh, the ones that you can hold the spear with. So I have this one's already holding the spear. So um, uh, also, let's go look at the uh, skirt. So these can move around a little bit. See, most of those falling off. All right. Skirts can move around. Uh, the back skirts can also move around. Not really too much though, but nonetheless. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it off. Now you're gonna put it back on. And uh, so yeah, that's really about it. Not really much to say about the skirts. It looks really nice though. Uh, for the leg, leg can uh, only come out that much, and can go back all the way and forward all the way. Hopefully without breaking uh, or popping this off. Alright, put that back on. Alright.
Now this is what I'm talking about. These little pieces just constantly keep coming off. Uh, like you, you really can't move it too far up, or that's gonna pop off. <laughs> I'm messing with this one, and this one pops off. Um, it looks nice though. I mean, I'm not really gonna complain too much outside of the, uh, you know, kind of loose factor. Uh, it can bend right here that much at this point and for the rest you get pretty much full extension so it's not really too bad you know, I'm just gonna leave them off uh, you get the yellow for the feet and for the back uh, I think it looks really nice um, the foot I actually really really like it's too let's go ahead and take a look at it it's a part right inside there if you can see it right inside it there and then right here is another part for this to rotate back and forth and I think that's really awesome because a lot of people like to you know they'll they'll spread the legs out no hobo and they'll like have like an action pose and if, if you put it on a table you know it, it's gonna look pretty retarded it, without it without this part bending so it will be looking like all like that but with this turning now it can actually lay flat on the uh, on the table which I think looks really freaking awesome. So I'm actually very happy that they, you know, included that with uh, with this kit. Because I mean, this is like one of my favorites right now as far as uh, enemy mobile suits. But uh, it does look really great. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. Also, it can uh, it can bend down, so like just a little bit. But the the actual ankle part right here can rotate down. Um, but the foot. Yeah, I can go down a little bit further, so that's really nice. And put this guy right back here. All right. Uh, so looking at the back, uh, nice jetpack. Uh, these can actually open up and have a lot of good uh, good uh, places for panel lining, as you can see. I did a little bit just to give a little hint of the black. And uh, yeah, these are gonna open up to where you put the little. Uh, uh, I'm not really too sure what they're called, I guess, just energy, little beams or something. Um, and here you're going to have the tail. And this tail, I will, I will tell you, is a pain in the ass to put together. There, if you see the black, all that is is like a little wire that runs through it that you have to slide each little piece through. But the thing about it was, the wire was just a slight too big not really too big but it was just like the same exact size so it was really really tough to keep sliding it in and I don't know I was just having big problems with it, it took me about an hour to actually just put the tail together um, so yeah it wasn't like you know the Epion where it was just little pieces that you keep putting together you know this is actual wire which was a pain in the ass uh, but I mean nonetheless it does look really great I, I still like the overall design of it. It does give you like an Epion feel. And then uh, this little piece can uh, rotate. So when it's on the uh, the Gundam's ass, not the Gundam, uh, the mobile suit's ass, you can rotate up or rotate down, which is really nice. And this is going to be able to stay into many different positions that you want it to uh, put it in. So that's going to be really great. And also, you can put it onto the hand. Uh, there's a little hole right there. You just stick it onto the little Vulcan, not Vulcan, but uh, like hand cannon. If I can get it in there. Ah, it takes a little bit. You just gotta keep working it. Uh, try one more time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I can't get it. You, you, you can though. I'm pretty sure you can. They're not gonna include this feature. If you couldn't, well, I would probably rec. Oh, oh, almost had it. Almost had it there. Right. What I would recommend is just take out the, the cannon itself. Or actually just hype. Alright, there we go. So you just bring it all the way down and then go ahead and put it. But, uh, let's put his hand back on. And I think I think it looks really great. You know, he's, he, has, he can have like the little slashing motion with the uh, little whip so that looks really great uh, but I'm not gonna have him like that because I, I much prefer his little staff so I'm gonna put this back on his ass and uh, the last thing um, about this kit 
me put this right back on before I proceed. All right, you get these little pieces right here, little green pieces, and uh, let me adjust myself. All you have to do is just uh, pop like pop the little parts open. So let's do the jetpack first. You're gonna pop these open. Boop, boop. All right, and then we're gonna like this leg. Here we go. You're just gonna slide it in there, as you can see. Bam, slide right in. All right, and uh, to put these on, you just take these parts off. And then you're gonna slide that in, and then slide this right on top of it. And these actually stay in a little bit better with the uh, green energy parts in. And it really reminds you of um, the uh, freaking beginning Gundam. The, uh, the th I think it's called like 30 or something like that. Um, it really reminds me of that. And I bought, I never bought it. I bought the, the original free, uh, not freedom, beginning Gundam. And I was like, meh about it. Wasn't really all excited, so I didn't get that one. But, um,. Definitely gotta got this guy. Put this in. Put this back in. All right. So that's him. And uh, here we're gonna go to the spear real quick. Sphere can uh, connect the side there. If you can see it next right there and uh, it has <clears throat> green stickers on it and just put that right on there little green stickers um, normally I would probably just paint that but I don't have my paints with me and I won't hurry up and uh, build this guy so I might just take the uh, stickers off when I get home and then go ahead and paint them but uh, that's really about it this guy I do highly recommend uh, it was a gr great build except for the tail the, pa the tail was a pain in the ass but maybe you'll have better luck than what I did um, so yeah, if, if you like the Gundam Age series, I highly recommend going and get them. Uh, Alright, so that's going to be about it. Y'all take care and have a great day.